Hello again. Got a another video to make today. Um, yeah, so today I'm doing a review on the. Uh, I got this as a, a bonus in uh, Crimson Lotus. Is uh, the order I got from Crimson Lotus? I, I bought the the Stargazer cake. I'm still gonna do a review on that one, but uh, I wanted to try this, and I only got one. This is their uh, um, their planet planet series or whatever and I think with their uh, what is it the single origin um, teas and uh, their single origin teas they like to they call them planets right so I think a lot of other people they call them dragon balls or whatever else so that's 8.45 grams I just weighed it um, so I'm not gonna go with the small guy one today I'm gonna go with the big one uh, before I start brewing I just want uh, everybody to take a quick look at my tea wear. You know what I mean? Because last time, I think I had like them all brown and stuff like that. And if you just take a look, look how clean it is. And this one was like so so brown, you could you you could, you could barely barely even pour tea through it. The tea stain was so thick. So I cleaned that with bleach. I got a bowl of water hot water and I put like a lot of bleach in it like I tipped the bleach in the bloop, bloop, bloop kind of thing I don't know maybe like a cup maybe a cup and a half of bleach and uh, yeah I put the tea wear in and uh, um, just comes out immediately no scrubbing nothing you just put it in the stains come off it's like they just fall off there's no no scrubbing nothing and uh, yeah, it just, that's what I found works the best. I've tried vinegar, I've tried, some people say, oh, you shouldn't use bleach because bleach is bad for your tea wear. I don't understand how bleach is bad for glass and porcelain. That does not make sense to me. And I, I rinse it really well and there's no smells. Uh, my only suggestion if you're gonna use bleach is put gloves on because if you get bleach water on your hands and then usually later you're gonna make tea, my hands will smell like bleach for like two days if I get bleach water on my hands, especially how strong I do it. And don't wear clothes that you don't wanna get bleach on. I think that's the biggest danger of using bleach. Um, other than that, I'm just gonna give this a quick, looks like there's some dust in this one. So I'll give it a bit of a little warm up and a rinse. Um, Yes. Yeah, so anyways, yeah, this one is the their planet Bang Dong. So yeah, that's supposed to be single origin tea, uh, single village or something. I don't know. So this is just Bang Dong material, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, I haven't tried really much from Crimson Lotus. Um, their Stargazer is fantastic. That's the only thing I've tried. Um, and I also bought the uh, the Gong Fu to go uh, tea bottle thing. And I'm gonna do a review on that, but I wanted to wait and actually get some good use out of it. Because like stuff like that, they leak, right? And I'm not gonna leave a positive review on something that I think is gonna leak. And I think it's gonna leak, but I've been using it for a while and it hasn't leaked very much. Sometimes it leaks, sometimes it doesn't. I think it's how, how tight you, you screw things and how hot you put stuff in there with leaving it screwed tight and then you have you know pressure build up and spraying and stuff like that right and I found that depending on how I use it I don't have um, I don't have those issues right let's give this a sniff oh wow it's got a really uh, syrupy smell Like honey. Yeah, anyways, that's cool. Let's see how it tastes. I'm gonna give it a, a fairly long rinse just because, um, you know, it's compressed, it hasn't broken up or anything like that. And maybe I'll drink it too. I don't know. Why not? So yeah, um, kind of haven't been making very many videos lately. I have lots of teas that I, I want to review still. 
I got kind of a little bit sick. I wasn't feeling well. I wasn't into making videos. So I was drinking tea still. Just usually be in my living room while playing video games, cooped up in the house. You know what I mean? House is dirty because you're not feeling well. It's like, I don't want to do a video because you got to clean up. Um, let's try that. Have a cup somewhere. There's my cup. Let's try that. Not very much flavor there. Mainly, it is a uh, fairly tight, compressed little balls, so. I think that's good. This one I'll drink. Um. Yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna order some stuff from a couple different vendor vendors that I haven't tried yet. Um, if anybody knows of any vendors that I should try, I'm just always very suspicious of. Uh, just buying stuff online and uh, you know wondering if you're gonna actually get what you're paying for or whatever and not just with tea but that's with anything right I've heard people buying stuff online they just don't receive what they order and uh, that's scary to me that's money that I worked hard for and uh, you know you and sourcing I, I know that they're reputable because I've ordered from them before. I've liked everything that I've got from them. And uh, it's just hard for me to venture out. But I know there's lots more out there. And uh... hmm. Yeah, it's almost very like uh, like floral. I don't know about like what kind of floral, but like it's like flowers and like definitely some sweetness there and, and, and some like tartiness right on the tip of the tongue. Um, I've only ever tried one other Bang Dong to compare this to, and that was a Bang Dong uh, Zicha by Yunnan Sourcing. That was really good. And there's nothing like this. It was a purple tea, so purple varietal or whatever. Who knows? Maybe this is a purple varietal too. That was so long ago that I wouldn't even know what uh what I'm tasting for. So I'm gonna brew this one a little bit shorter because it's starting to open up a bit. And, uh, yeah. Oh, but other vendors. Two vendors I want to try. I'm going to try the, the, the Yong Ching Hao. Um, from what I've heard is there's a, there's a guy that does a, a group group purchasing or something from Yong Ching Hao. And you got to wait until they do the big order thing. And I've heard from people that it's, it's worth it and it's good. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then there's a vendor... And I think it's a, a group of people, um, enthusiasts, that uh, it's like a group of enthusiasts. They're, they're their collection of stuff they like, right? So that's teas we like. And uh, I've gotten a few recommendations for that. And so yeah, why not? Why not try it out? Not that I won't like continue ordering from Yunnan Sourcing, because. Let's face it, I don't think any other company has that kind of selection. But there is definitely things on Teas We Like and Yang Ching Hao that I can't get from the United Sourcing. So if I can't get it there, I'll get it somewhere else, right? And uh, and that's the same with Crimson Lotus. Crimson Lotus, they're, they're a very small company and they, um, they produce not very many different types of teas, but it's all poor. They're, their site's exclusive, exclusively poor, which... You know, I really, uh, I appreciate that. I think, uh, for me, tea, uh, Pu'er is like the pinnacle of tea, right? And there's very little tea that I'll 
I'll drink on a daily basis, right? Okay, that's that's really good. Now, definitely, uh, really thick, really juicy. Like it has a very viscous uh, feeling in the mouth. Slippery. What's wrong, Petey? No, nobody's there. My puppy has been barking out the window lately. I think he's actually seeing his reflection in the glass. Uh, he's actually not a puppy anymore. Come here, Pete. Come on up. He's getting big. When I first showed him on here, he was uh, like probably half the size. So yeah, he's definitely getting big. And, uh, oh yeah, sure. Yeah, he's my puppy. Yes. Yeah. You're gonna go down now. Oh. Yeah, I love you. Yeah, it's cool having a dog. Never had a dog for a long time. Um, since I lived with my father, and he had like seven dogs. Oh, Petey. Should I get you some treats? I'll get you some treats. There. There you go, Petey. Yeah, this tea is really, really good though. I don't think they have any like full cakes of this. This is just the um, their single origin stuffs. And I don't know if they're still doing the planets. And one one reason I I really wanted to try Crimson Lotus, you know, I seen uh, just like the art and everything. It's just like you can tell that. Uh, like Glenn. I'm not trying to be like rude or anything, but he's he's a, he's a definite nerd, right? Just like the artist artwork and everything. Um, he has this uh, Shupur, Shopur, and it's uh, the rapper. Is a freaking uh, it's it's the Death Star. It's the Death Star, and 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 the and the T is called that's no moon. I mean that's a Star Wars reference. And I'm like one of the biggest fans of Star Wars you'll ever meet. Like I can, I, I used to recite like all the movies, and uh, so then yeah, all their like, their like sample like Dragon Ball teas are like becoming these wrappings like this, like it's all the galaxy and stuff. And yeah, this is. I don't know if you can read it there. It's got uh, Planet Bang Dong. That was upside down. Sorry. Anyways, I'm not gonna do it again. Planet Bang Dong, and then they had like. A whole bunch of other just different different planets and it's like you know and you and you have these planets like you get to visit like that area kind of thing or something I don't know it's like going to another planet another treat there you go he begs when I'm sitting up here drinking teas, he begs too because he think I'm, thinks I'm eating something that he can't have. Now, this is definitely thick, definitely really juicy. Um, what year is this? 2017. Grown and processed in Yunnan, China. Crimson Lotus Tea. Yeah, anyways, yeah. I like, yeah, that's... That was what the main thing that actually got me to make a purchase from them. Is just the... You know. I knew that I was purchasing from a fellow, a fellow nerd. <laughs> and uh, I really appreciated the, the Star Wars reference. Although I think the, the show was... The, 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 the ripe the ripe poor was uh, sold out yeah it's got a little bit of bitterness um and uh, definitely like a bit of astringency like it's very drying on the mouth and cooling I'm sitting here, I got this expansive feeling in my mouth that it's cooling. It's 
cooling my mouth. I don't know. It's good. It's kind of punchy, like a fruit fruit punchiness kind of thing, like maybe some kind of like uh, I don't know. I don't know. Pineapple. Oh, I did. I did share it already. My uh, my storage solution. I got a cooler, and I put all my uh, my teas in a cooler. And I got two of those big Bovita packs. They're like like that big around, and they're uh, 320 grams or whatever Bovita, and 75% uh, humidity. So I got two of them in the cooler, and that should regulate it very efficiently. I think with Bovita, when you go overboard with the uh, sit, nope, you sit. There you go. When you go overboard with the bovina, I think they work a little bit better, a little more efficiently. That's what they say on their website. You should use more of them. So yeah, I use two big ones, and the big ones are supposed to be for like large humidors. So I think two of them are gonna regulate much better, right? And they're two-way humidity, so there's no way it's gonna get too humid in there. Um, I got this hygrometer thing. I think it said something it was accurate within 10% uh, or 5%, anyways. So it says, I have I have uh, three three sensors, including this one. This one is a uh, this machine here is a uh, um, humidor itself. So you got the uh, the temperature on the one side, and then the uh, uh, humidity on the other side. So I have actually one in my one sensor in my kid's room, and uh, one in. Uh, one outside, and then I have one in my, my tea box, in my in my cooler. And so I can kind of monitor the, the humidity and the temperature of like the whole house really. And then this is just set, this is just detects the humidity here. So right here where I'm sitting, we're at 30, 31%. And that's plus or minus, I think five, five to 10. I can't remember if it was 10 or five. But that would make sense. This one says it's 62 inside my box, 62%, which those are 75%. So I'm gonna, I'm assuming it's probably more closer to 70. And uh, um, I think on Bovita's website it says that if you want a specific uh, humidity level, it's going to be a little bit lower than what they say on the packs. That's a 75%. It's probably going to be more like probably five percent lower. Um, Yeah, I haven't gotten anything really aggressive from this tea at all. Not very much bitterness, something like that. Um, yeah. But, uh... Sorry, I'm like saying too many things at once. What was I saying? Oh yeah, 63% it says. So it's probably more like 68. Or even like 70%. Anyways, and the one where it says 37, because I know it's so dry in here, it's probably lower than that. It's probably closer more to like, like 30, 34 or 33 or something. But I should get a couple more different uh, humid, uh, high grometers. A couple, maybe another one to put in there. What does this tea remind me of? It reminds me of, uh, there's another tea I tried recently. It reminds me kind of the, the Monku uh, certified organic tea that I got from the United Sourcing sample box. Like I said, this one's like a little bit more punchier, but it has that like, like, I can't understand, I can't really describe it. Like it's like a, a roasted kind of, um, Not roasted, not smoky, but like, not nutty, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But that was that Monku flavor that I got. Anyways, and this one kind of got that same, same idea. Um, yeah, not too aggressive at all. 
I'm doing pretty long steeps on here. Um, what else should I say about it? Pretty good. I wish it came in cakes. If it came in cakes, I'd buy more of it. I'm not really big on the little single. PD, you have to get down from there. He's on the chair that my camera is attached to. No, you gotta get down. Come on. I got one of those like clamp things that clamp, clamps into the chair. Okay, you gotta sit down. Sit. Sit. Yes. No, sit. Good boy. You tried getting up on the table. Put some of that on there. I want to do another review on all the teas that I've already done. Um, mainly because I had all of them stored in the drawer behind me. And like this is like half a china cabinet and it had like the, the cabinet thing on top but I took that off because I didn't want it blocking the window. Um, I had it over there at one point but there's just no room in here. I got this big long fish tank here. It's like six feet long. And I had to get rid of like my china cabinet. So Pete, you stay down. Over this way. He's messing with my camera again. Um, what was I saying? Hmm. Yeah, I want to revisit all the teas that I've done reviews on. Um, you know, I tried the the 2015, and I had it for about a week, and it was stored in like a plastic bag, like the plastic bag it came in in the drawer. So there's no, wasn't very much airflow. Uh, it's very dry here. And uh, sit. Hey, good boy. Um, very dry, and uh, I just. My first impression of the tea was that was that it was very flat, and uh, like I, I never leave a review like on you know sourcing.com or whatever, um, or online at all, until I really got to know the tea. And that was the first time I tried it, and I kind of made a video re review of that tea, right? So my first impression of it was that it was, uh, um, that it was fairly uh, very flat. Uh, and void of much flavor, like it was very light. And that's where I kind of, um, but I tried it again, like after I got my, my storage in check here, and uh, I got my cooler up and running with the uh, Velveeta packs in it. And, uh, you know, a couple weeks after that, and I had it out of plastic and everything like that. And, you know, I tried it again. It was full of flavor, very lots of punchiness, um, strong and not dry and flat, like I remembered it to be, but very juicy and very, uh, very flavorful and a bit aggressive too. I, and I, I first kind of said it was underwhelming. So I'm going to do a review on everything else that I've done, but I'll do that after I finish the teas that I haven't done yet. Cause I do want to, I kind of want to make right. And maybe some bad reviews that I've given. It wasn't technically bad reviews, but you know, now that I've got some more decent storing, I don't think it's fair to make a, leave a bad review when your, your storage wasn't okay, or if you hadn't let the tea to have a time to acclimate or whatever. And personally with samples, I don't think you need to do that because they're sealed in a, in a little bag, right? And uh, I think they still have like a lot of that humidity and, and that atmosphere from when, you know, before they were shipped, right? So they should be similar to what, that's my kind of rationale behind samples, right? But I guess you could cut the tops off of them and just leave them in your storage and then let them actually acclimate to your storage. That seems like a lot of work for for samples. And uh, I might actually cancel my, sa my sample subscription because I don't know, I, I, I get like three teas from the sample, sample box. Sorry. Pete, you have to sit. Sit. Yeah, sit down. Sit. Sit. Good boy. 
Uh, yeah, you get three teas every month. Um, 25, 25 gram samples, so there's three of them. Um, and yeah, I, I got to try things that I wouldn't normally find. There's so many things to dig through on there. And I get to try teas that uh, maybe if I found them, I wouldn't order them, right? So, and, uh, but on top of that, I usually make like two orders a month. Like, I'm just ridiculous. Just always online, just like filling my cart, emptying my cart. I think I actually have like a problem when it comes to online shopping. And especially now that I like I drink tea, there's just so many things to choose. And it's like, I want all of them that, uh, yeah, it's became a big problem. I made a, I made a decision. I'm not going to order anything until after, after December, at least like maybe I'll wait until like January and then maybe I'll, I'll start purchasing, but maybe like two or three, two or three cakes in a, in an order and just once a month, no more than that. But, uh, Leading up to Christmas and stuff like that, it's just not a good idea. So yeah, I haven't ordered anything yet. Um, I got my last paycheck and I was filling up my card again. I was like, no, I should probably focus a little bit more on Christmas and not be so selfish. Lots, lots of presents to buy, lots of stuff to prepare for. PD, you gotta sit. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. He's gonna get sick if I keep feeding him all these treats. Um, yeah, this tea is like really good. It's like really uh, like lubricating in the mouth. Um, it's very thick. It's very fruity, like a, like a fruit punch. Um, it's definitely not like a very old tea. I think uh, 2000, 2007. 2017. They probably age differently like that too, eh? When they're like compressed in those little, little balls. Usually I've been using my uh, my small guy one. I can get through the the tea a lot faster that way. This is 100, 150 milliliters. No more, Pete. No more. All gone. Except these seeds them up here. Okay, one more. You gotta sit down. You gotta sit. Good boy. Oh. Use that hot water now. Somebody commented on one of my videos said that I was like hard on my tea wear. You know, like really rough with it. And my tea too, he said that like I just don't treat it all very nicely. And I don't know if I ever if I come across as somebody who doesn't care about their tea wear, you know, I, I wash it, I drink from it, I use it, I enjoy it. I've never broken anything. This is one of the comments for one of the videos. It's like, well, I had my cups and I like, I put them, I tried stacking them right here, but they, they fell over. But they were just cheap little cups. I got them in Chinatown. They're like those little, I don't know where they are, but those little white ones and probably like maybe 20 milliliters each they're small like they're they look like child child's cups but uh i think i paid 50 cents a piece for them so i got 10 and i should have got more of them so i could have given them away or whatever to friends who need cups so i have some friends that are starting starting out mm. yeah i didn't think that i was like yeah, I was told that it looked like I was being like disrespectful. I was like, kind of made me feel bad. <laughs> um, I'll try to be more gentle in the future if you're watching. 
Yeah, his teeth started like, well, this is the, the colder water, maybe the... Starting to drop off in flavor. Let's see what the hotter water is like. I like saying that. It's got a nice ring to it. Hot, hotter water. And what I usually do, um, what I like to do is uh, when my tea is like starting to have that like flavor, like it's not so good, you know, you gone through like, you know, six, seven steeps, you gone through a couple steeps and it's like not putting out like you'd want it to. And the flavor is just not quite as like intense as it was, right? Cause I like to put it in my, uh, where's my grandma's teapot. This is my grandma's teapot, or it was my grandma's teapot. She died a few years ago. And this is one of the few things I got. And that's, I got this actually well before I ever got into tea. So it stayed like in my cupboard for a long time. I just only kept it because it was my grandma's. You know, something that kind of stayed on my shelf and I just had it. And I took good care of it. I never really displayed it much. And, and uh, yeah. So yeah, it says made in China on the bottom, but it's a big teapot, right? Like this is, this is good to make a nice pot of tea. And... But anyways, I'll take like what I was brewing, the leaves that I was brewing and uh... yeah, I'd say this is done. I brewed this a little longer, so maybe that, maybe that one's good. And uh, yeah, anyways, I take the leaves that I've been brewing and I'll put them in the pot. And uh, I'll just leave them there till the next day. And the next day I'll make more tea. And then I'll add them to the pot. And maybe the next day after that is I'll have this like, it's like a lot of leaves in there and I'll just put like boiling hot water and I'll leave it there for a while and then I'll, I'll drink it with dinner or something like that. And uh, never had a problem with mold leaving it for that long because it's actually like, you know, Night number one, it's like, okay, I dump my leaves in there, so I'm done with them, and then, you know, night number two, I'll dump more leaves in there, and maybe the next day for, like, lunchtime is I'll pour hot water and let it steep for, like, a good, like, five, ten minutes. And I think with the extra space in there, it just allows it to steep a lot better. You know, it's not so, like, compact in, like, this tiny little spot, right? So then the leaves have, like, yeah, it's got some pretty big leaves in there for the, uh, banged on but yeah they, they have more room to open up and there's more like surface area that's going to be touched by hot water and stuff but um let's try that yeah it's done a lot of people will just keep drinking it and uh i used to just keep getting steeps out of it but i don't know it just kind of ruins the experience for me. It's like, I like the, the nice intense flavor of the tea. And uh, I don't really like thinking about how many steeps I get from it. But I know I'll get one really good one at this point if I don't drink it any farther. But it's just starting to get that minerally taste where it just kind of tastes like hot water. And uh, it'll kind of brew in there because it's like it's wet too, right? So it's going to release some tea oils and stuff, right? So. Just leave that over overnight and uh, just keep it in my grandma's teapot. I'm gonna do another, uh, I'll do another video here, review another tea, and uh, I'll put that in there and then I'll drink this for lunchtime. And PD, 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 you're just so interested in these treats I got up here. You want some more? You gotta sit. Good boy. But yeah, I think that's about does it for this video. Uh, Planet Bang Dong's pretty good. I don't even know if they have any more of these. I know they're doing something else with their with their little Dragon Ball things. I think they're calling it like uh, Elemental, uh, the pure the periodic table of ele uh, elements, and it's like the Elemental uh, Pure. And they got uh, the different. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to. It's like the periodic table, but it's poor. We got like, okay, bang dong would be like B, D would be the number on the, on the periodic table. And then it have like the numbers for like the year. And then like the 
something like that. You have to check it out on the website. It's kind of, yeah. It's one of the reasons why I appreciate Crimson Lotus. Not just because they have, you know, good teas. And I think that everything they have, they have a small amount of stuff. Because everything that they have, they like. And they drink on a daily basis. That's what they drink. So, yeah. I appreciate them for that. And I appreciate them for because the, I think Glenn is kind of a nerd. Just like me. That's awesome. So, yeah. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. If you like the videos, then subscribe. And, like, press the notification button. And, uh, you know, press the thumbs up or whatever. Or if you don't like the videos, definitely put a thumbs down. Unsubscribe if you are subscribed. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.